Okay, before we start the project, we need to prepare SpruceCam for it. So here is the SpruceCam window. First thing I suggest you to do is to turn on all these buttons on the right panel. I will later explain you what are they doing, but now for the start we need to turn them on. Okay, next uh, we need to select a machine. So now there is some random machine selected in my Sprute Cam. So in order to select a proper machine, which I'll be using in this project, I double click on the machining tab. So we have, here we have three tabs, model, machining and simulation. On the machining tab, I double, double click uh, the machine name. And here I will type Micron. Okay, you must find this Micron VCE 600 Pro 3 axis. If you don't see this machine in your search results, try checking different folders because I think yes, basically it is in the in this folder which comes with Sprut Cam trial license. So this is the machine we are going to use now. Okay, nice. I can see the machine now. So he, I have three access machine. So that's it. Fine. Next, we will add a fixture. So in order to add a fixture, it's a by the way, it's a huge topic how to work with fixtures in SpruceCam. But now we will keep thing, things simple. And on the machining tab, the same machining tab, I have machine chosen here. This is the cam tree, by the way. Here in the bottom, we have different tabs of parameters. I will show them later. So uh, I will choose some fixture from the library which comes with Sprout Control License. So I click this fixtures tab and here I have load and I will use these, uh, this vice. Okay, that's it. I even will not change its setup, but uh, I will show you how to do it. So there are plenty of tools. We can see that it's a coincidence, but the vice is nicely aligned with the table. So I can move them like this. I can move them like this. I can input numbers, for example, minus 150. That's it. So and I also can move them like this. I can move them like this and uh, move them like this. So lots of interact interactive elements for control. By the way, here we have some glue function, which is uh, which makes easier to align the vice on the table. So I will not show it right now to keep the video timing um, acceptable. <laughs> okay, but in uh, but I will show it in other videos. Okay, I have added my. Uh, vice here, the fixtures which I'll be using in the project next is we need to import a model of the part we're going to machine. So in order to import a model, I go to model tab and press import. Okay, and here on the desktop, I have this part um, uh, mo um, model. Nice. So as you can see, the part is way too big because it was scaled uh, wrong in, um, the cat, in the CAD software. So I need to modify it a little bit. So what I'm going to do is to use spatial transformations here on top. And here I have scale. I will put scale factor, factor 0.1 which is equal to scaling, uh, downscaling 10 times. I'll tell you why it happened, because the model was in meters. Uh, now it's in, sorry, in centimeters. Now it's in millimeters, so it's 10 times. We need to scale it a little bit. Okay, no problem. So the model is imported. 
By the way, uh, here you can see the supported formats, which SprutCam is uh, capable of importing. So these formats are imported directly into SprutCam. Okay, so uh, the part is imported. Now we need to make a workpiece. So you can also import a workpiece in this folder, workpiece module if you have one, but if you don't have, it's not a problem. So I go back to machining tab and here I have workpiece tab. That's it. By the way, here on the top, maybe you have already noticed that these buttons are controlling visibility. So I will turn off the machine visibility and, and fixture visibility in order to make the process of workpiece creation more convenient to me. So you can see that by default SprutCam is making a workpiece which is a box around the part with zero stock. This is not something that I need. That's why I will go to the workpiece tab and press primitive. Now in this window we have different options but I will use simple box uh, option and here I will add stock from uh, two millimeter stock uh, in positive and negative Z, the Z axis directions. We will see it now. That's it. So now I have uh, stock along Z axis. If I would, if I would like to make the same stock for all directions i just press this little switch and now i have same stock so for example i can create uh, or i can create the workpiece like this okay so now i have two workpieces i don't need two of them i delete one of them so this is the workpiece i'm going to use in my project okay next Uh, next, we need to set up the workpiece into the fixture. So I'm turning on the visibility of fixture and of the machine itself. So now you can see that the workpiece is somewhere inside of the table, which is obviously not correct. In order to set up the workpiece, I switch here to the setup tab and press workpiece setup and this little button with three dots which is used to wi widely in sprut cam in a lot of places so that's it and here i have workpiece setup window and the same workpiece setup elements which are very nice you can use them you can explore with them what are they doing so uh, i will set up the workpiece inside this vise like this by the way you can also drag your workpiece and also let's check the snap yeah nice it works that's it maybe i will raise it a little bit like this okay fine press ok and my workpiece is nicely set up and aligned in the vise. Very easy. Okay, next and the last thing we need to do before we start creating machining technology operations, we need to adjust the origin or G54, so-called G54 coordinate system. By default, it is here in the center, which is depending on the model and the global coordinate system of the geometry. And that's why it can be somewhere, I don't know, anywhere. So in order to put it in a desired place, we need to do a couple of things. First of all, we need to turn on the smart snap, which will, which will allow us to snap this uh, coordinate system to some corner or some element of the model. That's it, smart snap is enabled. Next, I have this WCS uh, option in the setup tab 
and I also press three buttons here and now I can move and drag sorry drag <laughs> my G54 coordinate system anywhere I like so you can see the center of this hole for example but in this case I will use this uh, corner of the workpiece which is nice by the way you can see that here in Sprutcam, if you double click any surface, you will see the dimensions, which is very handy. But we will talk about it a little bit later also. So now our G54 is attached um, precisely to this corner of the workpiece. And that's it. The last and the most important thing in project preparation is to push the save as button and save our project okay next we will start to make machining operations <laughs> 